Hey guys, it's Sim and this is Wrestling Unlimited, as it is being reported that All Elite Wrestling has signed yet another former WWE wrestler. According to a new report from Fightful, they write the following. EJ Nduka is no longer a free agent and hasn't been for quite some time. The former WWE and MLW talent became a free agent at the start of 2023, when he amicably left Major League Wrestling upon his contract expiring. Fightful has learned that Nduka has signed with All Elite Wrestling after making his company debut back in January, facing Kanosuke Takeshita. Nduka hasn't been in the ring since then, but was seen around WrestleMania weekend festivities. We're told he's been under some sort of AEW deal for quite a while. Fightful had reported that Nduka had interest from WWE, as well as companies in Mexico and Japan. However, we're told that when James Kimball was fired from WWE, that a lot of possible hires he was looking at weren't followed up on. AEW was immediately interested in Nduka upon his debut. We haven't confirmed the level of the deal with AEW. So with that, EJ Nduka is with AEW and has been for some time. But the big question is, why sign the guy if you're not going to use him? Like, if he hasn't worked since the one match in January, why put him under contract? Why lock him down and then him not go do anything else? That's kind of weird, but hey, congrats on EJ and Duka for signing some sort of a deal with All Elite Wrestling. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe right here on YouTube.